<laughs> Let me get the visual confirmation in real life. Hi, chat. Are we live? I think we are. Yes. Awesome. Hey, hunters. Long time no see. Uh, wow, it's been a while. Been missing streams with you guys. Uh, this weird noise in the background is Gabriel Celestino. Cele, say hi. Hey guys, today I'm not on my usual setup again, <laughs> but today I'm on the worst setup ever. So <laughs> we've been yeah, trying. We've been trying to put Celestino camera right next to mine. Uh, but yeah, we we spent like 15 minutes to get this work. So sorry about that. Uh, can you listen to Celestino at least? Is the volume okay? Is my voice good enough? The games. The game sound is it too loud? How how is the sound? Hello guys, just testing my voice right now. <laughs> <laughs> I need to eat some food. So can you guys hear uh, Celestino at all? A bit loud. Okay, I can turn it down a little bit. Give me a second. Get it down like this. So, like, can you speak again? Yeah, sure. I'm right here. Uh, I don't know what to speak. <laughs> I know. Okay, so uh, just turn turn Celestia's so voice a little bit down. Uh, the game audio might be too loud. This is probably better. Cool. <laughs> Hey everyone, so it's been a while since we last streamed. Uh, hope you can hear me and Celestina both now uh, well enough. It's been uh, it's been quite a while. We've done GDC, we've done PAX, we travel around. Like uh, I've been to Spain, I've been to San Francisco, then I've been to Boston. Finally back home in Rio, actually my new home. Uh, I got married just before all this traveling. And uh, yeah, lots of things happening to the game, to this community, and uh, yeah, this is the PAX Builder we're playing right now, uh, so probably get to play a little bit before we just start talking a lot. Uh, since I'm wearing a pink, pinky t-shirt, I'm definitely going to play pinky. Uh, what are you playing today, Silly? I'm always playing Ace. <laughs> okay, so let's start on hard skirmish, just to warm up a little bit. <laughs> let's see how the game is. All my last streams where I died. <laughs> so the best word for this game is carry. Uh, if two people, if two people want to join us in chat, uh, please not more than two because uh, maybe if you guys get too eager to get into the game, maybe Saleh himself won't be able to join. So uh, Saleh, if you want to join, I just started a game with the password carry. Uh, it's on hard uh, skirmish. Okay, so is the game too loud? Because for me, the, the shooting might be a little bit too loud, I guess. Or, or is this fine for you guys? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Shooting, shooting, shooting. Just the first time that I'm streaming from this new setup here, I want to make sure that the volumes and everything else is okay. I've had streams in the past where I could barely hear my voice after I saw the recording. <laughs> trying, <laughs> trying to get a little bit better at this streaming thing. Okay, so I can't hear the game much at all. I can increase it a little bit. Maybe 40%. There we go. Hey guys, wait for me. Awesome. So yeah, this is the PAX build. We're super excited to finally have Pinky playable. To have the skirmish game mode. We have the boss fight. So many new things. Uh, there's a lot of new things under the hood as well. We've done... Uh, we have a full buffs and debuff system working now, even though you can barely see it. There's a lot of subtly, subtly, I don't know how to pronounce that word. There's a lot of sneaky things going on uh, under the hood, and uh, a lot of hidden death. For example, if you're playing Pinky, uh, and you put down the barrier like this, after the barrier is destroyed or it goes down, it gives you a little buff that uh, gives you damage resistance. There you go, see there? Damage resistance. So, uh, we're starting to do things like this. Don't get cocky. We ain't done yet. 
take a look at the the chat. So uh, everybody says that my voice is clear and the game and the volume is fine. Okay. So uh, cool guys. So we have a lot to talk about uh, about the future relic hunters. What's coming up next? So after GDC and PAX, we've had some pretty cool uh, pretty cool exposure. We got two awards at GDC. We got a lot of uh, attention from uh, press, investors, publishers. Uh, doing PAX was super awesome, like PAX was a really cool experience. We have never done PAX before, at least me, Beto has been to like three PAXs already. Is that the plural of PAX? One PAX, two PAXs? Oh well. Uh, <laughs> so Beto has done two PAXs before, uh, but it was my first time. And it was so fun, like uh, our main goal was meeting players and potential new founders and supporters of the game and also streamers. And we were surprised of how positive the community was and how good the energy was in the show. I I think I said this like a couple of times there. Uh, that we are all we usually to we are used to used to interact with the gaming community online. And sometimes that's so toxic, right? And there's so much negativity uh, in the gaming community. And when we get to go to a show like PAX, it was so positive and the energy was so good. It was like reminding us of why games are awesome again, you know? It was like really, really good. I think we made some new friends there. Uh, I know we've made some new founders and supporters of the game that are already on Discord and have joined us. Uh, we had a lot of fun, we got a lot of new people, and mostly um, we got a lot of feedback on what is working in the game, what is probably not working, and what people want to see the most. And we brought all of these things back home with us. And this week we spent quite a bit of last week we spent quite a bit of time like going through all the maintenance and following things that we have to do to get the game back to a, a solid position. Especially performance. I'm gonna talk a little bit about that. So you can see that my rig is now at 50 FPS, 50, 60, which is not ideal. Like this is a pretty uh, pretty strong computer. We are currently CPU bound. Some of the things that we want to talk about, but uh, we spent a lot of time on these, but also on discussing what we want to do next for the game. So we we still laser focus on doing the alpha. So uh, I don't know if you guys, everyone here, chat has seen the 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 plans that we had for uh, the alpha. So we have a blog post of Rogue's Nail. If you go to roguesnail.com, is the first blog post there. Uh, Relic Hunters Alpha in 2018. And that is still what we're planning to do. We haven't changed a bit. So it's still going to be Galino Desert, the first region. Lots of missions. You're going to be able to level up your hunters up to level 20. Collect items of up to rare rarity. Up to plus 15 enhancement level. All of this good stuff. And there is quite a bit of stuff that needs to be done before this is uh, this is ready. So among other things, we are focusing right now on polishing and maintenance important things, especially performance. So our f we, we know that the game right now is currently very CPU bound, especially when there are more enemies on the screen. The more enemies there are on the screen, the slower the game gets. Uh, there's Like Kyle, uh, our lead programmer, he's diagnosing what's happening right now and what's causing these issues. We think it's all recent things that we've done in the past two or three months. So we're going to get this uh, good enough so that at least like modern PCs can run the game upwards of 100 FPS all the time. Uh, and hopefully this will impact lower end computers as well. So you guys can get more playable, at least stable frame rates. So this is one of our main focuses right now. We're also uh, improving the level. So we got a lot of feedback on packs and GDC as well, but especially packs where uh, the art style of the level is still a little bit confusing. Where you can like the perspective can fool you sometimes. Uh, you can get uh, confused about what is a cliff, what is like a high ground, and if you can make a jump or something like that. Um, we're definitely going to improve that. We've talked a lot, especially today. I talked a lot with Betu and Mariana uh, about the art and how we can improve the art of the level. So that's something that we're doing, and also improving our tools. So level editor is getting a lot of love, and we're also this week working on interface improvements. So you can see that. Uh, we have the mouse here, uh, but it's actually 
it's not supposed to have all this back scrolling in the background when you're using the mouse. This is supposed to be something just for the controller. Uh, these screens, they also need a lot of polish. The inventory system that we uh, we were supposed to have the inventory system ready for packs. We were a little bit late, we had to cut it. Uh, we are going to have it as soon as possible. These are all things that we're doing right now. And uh, as soon as all these things are done, we're going to put Wrath in the game, which was something that we also promised for packs and we didn't deliver. We had to cut Wrath. So Wrath is first priority, she's coming. Uh, Beto is also doing the Kamis, so uh, if you played Rolling Country Zero, remember Kamis, the Red Dogs. Uh, they're gonna be back. Actually, they're gonna be a full faction this time. So we're gonna have a lot of uh, other variations of Kamis, uh, very different from the ones we've seen in Zero. Of course, the traditional red dog-like Kamis are gonna be back. Uh, Silly, are ready to go for Epic Skirmish? I'm always ready and never ready at the same time. So. <laughs> okay, let's do it. I don't know how ready I am as well, because uh, I maybe I've lost practice on talking and playing at the same time, which is not easy. Uh, but hopefully I can put on. Uh, so uh, it's open. It's carry epic game on skirmish. Uh, send fires already in. Captain Chicken, please nobody else join so we can leave a free slot to Sale. I mean, right. awesome, cool. So we have a party. So match beginning. Uh, while we probably fail a little bit, especially me trying to talk and play at the same time, uh, I'm gonna take a look at chat to see uh, what are you guys asking. So um, we buy Rally Countries on website. We get it on Steam. So we currently have a founders program on our website. So if you if you buy the game. Uh, on any tier, you are going to get access to the game early on Steam. Yes. So right now, if you pay twenty dollars, you're going to have beta access on Steam when it, when that happens. Uh, I expect this to happen by the end of the year or early 2019. So end of this year or beginning of next year, if you pay twenty dollars for the founder, you're gonna be able to get access on Steam. If you pay forty dollars or sixty dollars for the alpha founder or legendary founder, you get a lot of cool perks. But you also get access to the game right now on Steam. So you can play this version that we're playing with our founders. Uh, and most importantly, any founder tier that you pick, you get to join us on Discord on the founders channel. You get to have a say on what happens next in the game. Give us feedback, ideas. We, we try to be every day on Discord. Uh, these last few weeks I've been traveling. But uh, ever since we came back, we're every day on Discord talking to our founders. Seeing uh, what you guys are thinking about for the game. So, um, what else? Uh, why is Ref a girl in this version? So, uh, Ref is a girl in this version uh, for many reasons, and I cannot spoil them. Uh, a part, a bit, a bit of the reason was artistic, and like uh, Beto drew this female Ref, super awesome, super stylish. We really like her. Uh, it, and brought more balance because we had more guys than we had girls. So visually, it looked better the, the whole group together with Raf as a girl. So that's one reason. Uh, and the other reason is we came up with a pretty cool uh, lore about Raf. So hopefully, when the game comes out, the story is out, uh, you find out more about Raf's story. So, uh, what else? Bum, 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 bum. So, Mechatheus is saying that uh, probably Shadows will fix adapt issue, but then low setting players have the problems too. Yeah, so uh, Shadows were not like, uh, we're probably going to add some kind of fog a little bit. So, you can see in this area here, uh, a little bit of fog would help sell the depth of this area in contrast to this, which is a wall, uh, and also the textures. So, while the, currently, the current thing that Beto and Mariana are working on. Is to get these textures like a little darker and give more of a sense that this is a cliff. So when you look at this, you know that this is a wall, right? And also the floor, uh, texturing the floor is in a way that you know that some textures are ground, some textures are like high ground. Like this is all solo stuff, but we hope that everything together plus a little bit better level design by my part. <laughs> All of these things together, they're gonna make uh, better levels more readable and people be less confused for sure. Uh, 
Sorry, I'm a little bit quiet now because I'm really focused. <laughs> You're doing really well. Uh, but yeah, one of the main issues you can see here, uh, even though it's streaming, so this is not 100% representative of the performance of the game, uh, I still have like less than 60 FPS on a very beefed up computer. Like this computer that I'm playing right now is super new, it's super strong. So uh, I should be above 60 at all times. So we are aware of that. I know that some founders have complained to us about performance issues as well. Uh, so we are taking care of this. Um, we also want to do a mobile version of Relic Hunters Legend that is the exact same game. So just like Fortnite did, where they have the same game on mobile and PC, we, we have, we're going to have this for Relic Hunters. We're looking into it, we have it playable right now. Uh, the performance is now there as well, of course, but uh, it's like 30 FPS most of the time on a new cell phone. So we are getting, uh, we are going to improve it for sure. But uh, it's super exciting to be able to play on the same, like on the same game with somebody who's on PC, somebody who's on the mobile. It's super awesome. And the optimizations that we're going to have to do to make it run well on mobile are definitely going to be a bonus for PC players. There you go, so that was easy, right? <laughs> yeah, like a skirmish. Yeah, a skirmish is pretty easy actually. Uh, the way it's balanced right now. Uh, one of the things that are, that are, that is going to make skirmish more interesting and challenging in the future is the elite enemies. Because uh, right now, uh, two things. So skirmish, uh, when it's done, we are going to be able to randomize a little bit the positions of the enemies and where you spawn, so it gives a bit more variety, even if you're playing the same map. But it's also going to allow us to change the encounters based on the difficulty. Because right now it's the same encounters. The only thing that is changing is the number of is the health and damage of the enemies, which is not enough to create a good challenge and fair challenge, right? So in King of the Hill, we can switch King of the Hill right now. Let's do King of the Hill hard to warm up a little bit. Um, so King of the Hill, uh, we already have the system in place. So the waves are a little bit randomized, and the difficulty is not only the numbers, it's also uh, what types of enemies spawn, how many of them, in which positions, like uh, how fast projectiles move, things like that. And in the near future, we're also going to have the elite enemies, so they're going to be like beef up versions of regular enemies. They're going to see elite Dukans, elite Sturlex, uh, so they are going to have, of course, more health and more damage, but also like secondary abilities. And in multiplayer, they're going to have crowd control abilities. So if you are playing, uh, I'm going to start our Hard King of the Hill with the passive carry. So if you play, if you're playing on with two or more people, uh, elite enemies, they are going to use crowd control abilities. They might stun you, they might lock you in place, like root you in place, and things like that. They're not going to do it if you're playing by yourself, because it's not fun to be crowd control when you're solo. But we hope that this is make the, the teamwork more uh, more necessary on multiplayer. And so all of these things are going to make Skirmish more challenging than it is right now. Uh, King of the Hill is much more challenging just because we're able to tweak the actual spawn rates of the enemies and the quantities and stuff. So uh, Daniel is asking me if I enjoy PAX. Yeah, a lot. Like I was just talking, if you just joined the stream, I was just talking about how awesome PAX was. Uh, like the energy was so good, we met people that uh, were really passionate about games, and were really like friendly and loving, the atmosphere was amazing. We made a lot of new friends, uh, we have we have new people in the Rally Contest community that we met at PAX, so yeah, we're definitely going to be back for future PAX events, like for sure. Like I really like being there. It's very expensive for us in Brazil to go to PAX, like uh, we did all that we could to like save costs and things like that. But uh, it's still very expensive. Hopefully uh, next year the game is more successful <laughs> and we're able to keep going to these shows uh, without worrying too much about how expensive it is. Uh, we also have to thank Indie Mega Booth for, for bringing us. Uh, if, we, if it weren't for Indie Don't Mega Booth, we would not have the money to have a booth of bags. Like, it's super expensive. Indie Mega Booth makes things much easier for us. So, uh, Serial Keeper asked me something uh, in Cyrillic, I believe Russian probably. Sorry man, I don't speak uh, Russian. I, I have to use Google Translator when, I, when somebody asks me stuff in Russian. But, uh, welcome to the community. Uh, we have a lot of Russian players, Royal Country Zero and Royal Country Legend as well. So, 
so uh, what else? So one of the most most important things that I want to talk to you guys about today is the the future by what we are building. So I just talked about uh, the short term things that we're doing, and you also know the long term things. So you know that we're building towards the alpha, right? But the medium term is something that we are undecided. Uh, we don't really know what's best and what you guys want right now. So I asked on the Kickstarter update this weekend, and I also asked on the Founders channel uh, what you're interested to see first. Either uh, we're going to do more game modes. So right now we have King of the Hill and have Skirmish. Uh, the Alpha is going to have five game modes. We're going to have King of the Hill, you're going to have Skirmish, you're going to have Payload, you're going to have Defense, and you're going to have Distraction. So King of the Hills also has a different name, it's going to be called Scavenge, it's likely different uh, game mechanics, but uh, same, same, same idea. And these five game modes are going to be what you're going to be playing on the Alpha, so this is something that will happen. Uh, the question is, do we do this first, or do we do progression? So progression, you're going to be able to level up your Hunters, uh, you're going to be able to collect loot of several different rarity tiers, crude, common, uncommon, and rare. Uh, after rare, there are going to be more like epic, legendary, but these are not going to be in the alpha at the moment. So, and you're also going to collect materials when you play the stages, and these materials you can use to enhance your items, and you can enhance items up to plus 15 if you have rare items. So these are all things that you are going to be doing on the alpha. Uh, all of these things, both the the five game modes and the progression leveling up, they are going to be there on the alpha, but we want to know which you guys want us to build first. So uh, after this stream, uh, as soon as the stream is over, we are going to open a poll at our Discord. So uh, if you haven't joined the Discord yet, I highly recommend you do so. It's super awesome. Like everybody there is super friendly. We're always talking about the game. And uh, if you are a founder, you get to vote. So uh, all the founders are going to put. Uh, oh, I have to. <laughs> Sorry about that, uh, guys. I think I'm by myself here. Thanks, Captain Chicken. Sorry. It's silly. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, my health is so low. And um, we are going to have a vote on the Founders channel about what you guys want first. If you guys want to, to see the five new game modes first. Fall down, please. Thank you. Uh, if you guys want to see the, the five game modes or if you guys want to see the progression first. So I've heard a lot of opinions already on the Founders channel. People wanting like different things. Like uh, the the goal the goal is to have the game for you guys, the founders, right? We are thinking about bringing the game in August to China Joy, which is a big event, game event in China. It's like a giant PAX in China, and um, but this is not the focus. Like the focus is building the best game that we can and bringing it to you guys. Oh, the frame rate is really bad right now, like 25. So. Uh, yeah, we know that we want to fix this first, the frame rate, but also uh, I want to understand from you guys what do you think about do we do uh, do we do game modes first, like to focus on the core gameplay, or do we do progression first to focus on how the items gonna work and if this is fun or not? And yeah, so um, if you want to tell us your chat and ask us ask me questions about what exactly does these things entail. As soon as the stream is over, we are going to open the poll, and after that's decided, that's decided. So we really, we're really gonna try this to put the the fate, the medium term fate of the game in your hands, uh, because for us it's either way. We're really like between the team, we were divided. So this is a great opportunity to uh, give literal power to you, the community, and figure out where do you want the game to go next. So they are talking about like uh, something about the Russian government blocking Twitch. So Sarah, you can keep her watching stream. Wow, and really? So bad. Yes, like Russian Communication Supervision Committee blocked Twitch. Rodrigo translated it to us. And Dolphin asked, "Where's my friend Gabe?" So I'm here. <laughs> He's hidden. Yes, <laughs> we tried to put Gabe on the camera. I have Gabe on the camera right now on my second monitor here, but uh, oh, here, no, here. It's confusing. It's here, but uh, yeah, I could not, I could not make uh, his camera. The idea would be for him to be right here by my side, 
but I could not uh, make it work on OBS for some reason. So <laughs> next time we're gonna try and set up this earlier. Uh, <laughs> it's been such a busy day. We tried to set up like 15 minutes before the the stream began and failed miserably. So let's do Epic King of the Hill. Goodbye, my frame rate. But uh, <laughs> what makes it difficult is the frame rate. It's not really uh, it's not really that hard at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so live volume is low. I can increase a little bit. So I'm just increasing. Okay, so I'm, I'm talking right now, so people can can say if I'm low or high or if my volume. Yeah, is I okay. just I just raise your volume a little bit. Yeah, so can can you guys hear a little better now? It's not just a microphone. My voice is a little bit weird to too. <laughs> <laughs> I never know if it's the the Twitch app for the, my phone or or the chat really stop. So chat is saying that you're good now, so. Okay. Oh, I wish the frame rate was this good on the final waves. <laughs> it will make it much easier. But yeah, the frame rate is definitely a focus for us. Like this this computer that I'm playing is a beast. It's really strong computer, and uh, even this this computer can handle the game as it is. So don't worry, guys. If you are lagging in rally counters, it's not your fault. It's our fault. <laughs> Kyle is on it. I have faith in Kyle. All right, who's next? Don't they have the problems? The servers are really good. On the other hand, like we were playing Asia last stream, and it was really good. Too. Yeah, like uh, the way that we do networking on, on Rally Counters is really unique. It's one of the main innovations that we have created for the game. And uh, it has it has a bit of... It has a, a few things that we still need to tweak. But overall, we're really happy about it. Uh, you can play with up to 300 MS of things. And you can get a fluid experience. So you can see right now I'm in Brazil. And uh, I'm streaming. <laughs> and I have 165 ms of lag. Uh, on any normal game, this would be like unplayable, or like it would have like really bad delay. But uh, yeah, like uh, I think we've done a pretty good job of this. Uh, there are some kinks, so you can see here that this one, this for me the main problem right now. You can see that the enemies they were not shooting at me, even if I was very close to them. You can see like like right here. So uh, this is because of the way that we are doing the AI online. So what happens is after they have a target, uh, they kind of it's very hard for them to switch targets. So this is really, really bad. Uh, but rest assured, this is something that we are going to fix in the very short term. Like uh, we, we have noticed it. <laughs> Some of you may be exploiting this at the moment. <laughs> so it sure makes the game a whole lot easier than it should be. But uh, yeah, it's going to be fixed. Yeah, with an epic mode harder than it already is, I think my streams will be a lot more of me dying. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Dolphin's asking me if I saw that chicken turn into Dukan and it was uh, killable. Uh, actually, this was not chicken turning into Dukan. Uh, this is a known issue as well as a networking issue. It happens because uh, the base character of the game, like every character in the game, enemies, players, everybody, is actually the same base thing. We just tell, and then uh, when you are uh, the host of the game, you create the enemies. You're, you're kind of responsible for the rules of which enemies get spawned where. And uh, when you spawn a Dukan, for example, you just spawn a base character prefab. Uh, and you tell everybody, like uh, I tell, if I am the host, I tell Soleil, I tell everybody, hey, this guy here is a Duke, right? But sometimes if you are lagging a lot, uh, this message takes a while to to arrive, and during that time you see like a basic character, and the basic character in our game is Jimmy. So if you are lagging a lot, sometimes when you join a game, you're going to see a lot of Jimmys, and then all, all of a sudden they turn into uh, Dukans. So, um, this is a known issue, uh, the correct way to handle this, like most games do, is to draw nothing. Like you draw like a, a blank character and you wait for it to load. 
uh, most games this is what happens, like if you join a game of Overwatch, sometimes you don't have the, the correct screen or whatever, the character for a few seconds is going to show as a pile of nothing, and then they're going to materialize. Uh, so that's what's going on. So uh, what do you guys think, chats? Do you think we should be doing progression? Or should we be focusing on more game modes, the core gameplay, like uh, elite enemies, like new enemies, things like that? Uh, eventually we're gonna do both, right? Uh, it's just what you want to see first. And I think there are pluses and, and pros and cons of both. So if we do game modes first, uh, it's fine because we can keep on the keep on the way that we are doing things, just focusing, making sure that the gameplay at at its core is fun, even without the RPG and the grinding aspects. And but on the other hand, it's going to Don't delay we learning about if it. our progression is fun, if we have to tweak it, things like that. That's gonna have to wait. On the other hand, if we do progression first, uh, you guys get to see what. Oh God, that was bad. Sorry, to, sorry, team. I was out of position. But um, the pro the main problem of doing progression first is that we are only going to have these two maps. We're gonna have King of the Hill and skirmish and that's all that we're gonna have so it, it's going to be extremely repetitive but you're going to be able to see how oh thanks man thanks for the rest uh you're going to be able to see um how how we're playing to do progression like that early so eventually we're gonna have both and when that happens we're gonna be close to alpha it's gonna be super fun hopefully because we're gonna have gameplay variety and progression together which is what we want to get <laughs> but uh until that happens we have to choose one so Whatever you guys choose, we're fine with it. Oh, dude. like the, the trouble that I'm having right now is mostly the frame rate. Like I have a lot of trouble playing with that much lag. <laughs> it's what makes Epic so difficult. Is the frame rate. I'm not even streaming. Okay, this is not the best computer in the world, but I'm like 15 FPS. <laughs> yeah, like I'm on I'm on a beast of a computer and I have like 30 something. It's very laggy. Mm -hmm. Like uh, this, this would be much more fun if the frame rate was steady for sure. So Daniel is asking if you put you will put red hunters in big booth or a big show room. Yeah, for sure. Uh, big, uh, for those of you who don't know, Big Festival is uh, probably the, the, the biggest game festival in Brazil for game developers and business, things like that. Uh, it's like our GDC, kind of. And uh, yeah, we're definitely going to be there. I know that the whole Relic Hunters team is going to be there. We are arranging our trips and Airbnbs and things like that. Uh, but we still have to see if we're going to have a booth there or not. But we are going to be there. So uh, if you are a backer from Sao Paulo and you want to beat us, uh, we're all going to be at uh, Big in June. I guess it's it's my birthday actually. It's uh, June 27th, I guess. It's the it's the, the weekend of my birthday. Well, it's, it's in the weekend of... It's not in the weekend, but it starts on my birthday. That's June 23rd. <laughs> <laughs> nice. There you go. And I can finally meet Celestian in person. Yes, we never met. The the funny no thing of, the funny thing about working in a remote company is that you can spend like a, a good chunk of time without actually meeting the people you work with. There we go, we did it. Was not that hard? We did it. Oh my god. So uh, Mariana yeah, and Celestino, uh, like Mariana, Celestino, and Gabe were the three last people to join the team. Uh, Gabriel, he's from Brasilia, and we've worked together before, so I know him personally. But uh, Gabriel, Celestino, and Mariana never met, so uh, big would be a cool opportunity to meet them. And even though me and Mariana, we live in the same town, we never met too. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so at big, we're gonna have a big, a big meetup of the entire Rogues Nancy, so everybody can meet. <laughs> so awesome. Uh, Guys, uh, we are wrapping up the stream uh, in a few minutes. Uh, just making, just uh, reinforcing that uh, we're going to do a poll. Uh, I don't know where, like, uh, Celia, how do you, how do you think we should do the poll? Like, is there a poll bot or something like that in Discord? I'm such a Discord dude. We, we could like 
uh, search for something like that. I usually do the straw poll polls. Yeah, we can do that. But I, I don't know how to put it only on founders channel. I don't know. like mm -hmm. though people who aren't founders have can look at the founders channel or. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we we'll put we we'll put the link on the founders channel and let everybody vote. But uh, yeah. Spoilers, I think, like from from the comments here in chat, uh, and from the comments on Discord, it's probably progression is gonna win. Uh, <laughs> everybody's just saying progression, progression, progression. Uh, I just want to make sure that you guys understand that we do progression first. It's going to be a bit boring to grind for the stuff because we only have two stages, so it's gonna be nice to test it out. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, for for us, it's very exciting because honestly, my dream has always been to make a loot based game. Uh, <laughs> I've came close, like I've had games with loot on it before, like Chrome Squad has uh, you drop tears and grab items, things like that. Um, but it's not the same thing. It's not a loot game. Uh, this is a loot game, so for us, it's super exciting. But it's gonna be super boring. I I gonna warn you up front. It's gonna be super boring to grind for this stuff with only two missions. But um, hopefully, <laughs> as fast as the, as we can, we're gonna do the game modes as well. Like uh, I hope that we are going to announce some partnerships uh, in the next couple of months coming in uh, to increase the Relic Hunters team even more. So we hope to hire more people this year. We hope to get faster and start to deploy the game faster and faster for you guys because. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for this game to be like done and playable. At least the alpha. Like uh, when we get to the alpha, uh, we're finally gonna have a game that looks like a game that you can also that you can actually play for longer periods of time, where you can uh, have variety, where you can maybe find people playing without arranging it first. Because right now, if you join us in Founders, your feedback super appreciated. Uh, you can play the game right away. But if you really want to play multiplayer, you have to go to Discord and say, hey, anybody want to play? Because there's no way that you can get more than a one hour, one hour and a half of fun out of what we have right now. So whenever we do reach the alpha, we are going to be at a point where you can put like 10 hours in the game, something like that, and still be excited to play more. So hopefully this is a strong foundation that we can build in. So I can't wait to get there, and I really hope that we get the support that we need. Uh, Founders has been awesome for us. Like uh, not only Kickstarter, of course, has been probably the main reason why we are here right now, honestly. Um, <laughs> but also the Founders program has been super nice. Uh, we started last month uh, in March. Uh, we made over a thousand dollars in March thanks to you, Founders. So thank you a lot for that. That's already enough to cover uh, Kyle's entire salary. That's awesome. Uh, maybe April after packs, we're gonna do even more than that. So all of these things that you guys are supporting the game, everything is going straight back into hiring more people, getting the game done faster, getting the game done better, uh, and hopefully we can, uh, on our end as well, find more partners to work with and get this game done as fast as we can and as big as, as, big as we dream it to be uh, for you guys. Um, let's see chat the last few questions before uh, we wrap this up. <laughs> So I think you should add wigs to the game first. It boosts morale and makes the development goes faster. Uh, <laughs> for sure. Uh, a lot of people at PAX out actually ask us about hats. <laughs> like, would there be hats? I say, yes. And they <laughs> showed and they just bought a founder's pack. And I was like, okay. <laughs> people like hats. Uh, we're definitely going to. Uh, actually, one of the major coolest things that happened in this year was also a bit hidden like when we redone all of the animations of the game on the spine system uh, not only the animations now they look way more fluid I really like the way that the animations look right now but there's a hidden benefit there there's going to come up in the following months which is customization is going to be much easier so you're going to be able to actually like change hats change the chest the character like change uh, individual pieces on the character customization uh, which is something that we could not do last year so uh, of course this also means hats uh, <laughs> <laughs> and exclusive skins for you guys uh, so uh, the Kickstarter backers some of you guys got the pinky exclusive skin for Kickstarter with the KS scarf and the cool hair uh, that's gonna be yours forever your character you guys are gonna be the only ones with that in the game like forever You're gonna be bragging rights for sure uh, and also uh, founders uh, if you get 
legendary founder status, you get the Wrath skin, Zero Wrath, which is also gonna be super exclusive. Only you guys are gonna have that forever, which is crazy. Like, uh, I've been dreaming of this game ever since like 2015 when we did Rally Country Zero. So it's been three years already of just streaming and projecting where we're gonna take this. And now we are finally seeing all the pieces come together and the game building up. It is super exciting. But I still have a vision for five years after that. So I can see this game in 2023. <laughs> so, and uh, there's gonna be a lot of stuff in this game. It's gonna be awesome. And just to think about taking this journey with you guys. Uh, it's been awesome and it's going to be awesome for quite a while for sure. And uh, yeah, probably I talk a lot. <laughs> uh, sorry, I miss you guys. I miss being here in the stream. Like, uh, and I thank you, Sully, a lot for taking care of these guys uh, as well as you did. Um, and hopefully we can return to you doing one week, I doing another week, uh, and we don't miss it so much. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's nice. I'm, I'm really glad that I can work on a game that I like a lot. Like. Relic Hunters, like I was talking on another stream those days, like I, there, there are moments that I, I, I need to open the stream and I'm doing another thing and I don't feel like, oh my god, I gotta open the Relic Hunters stream, it's more <laughs> like, oh, I would love to play some Relic Hunters, Let, let's play it right now, I'll do it. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, hopefully when the performance gets better, it's gonna be more enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be. I hate low frame rates. I hate them with a fiery passion. Like for me, playing Rally Countries under like 20 frames, like that last wave there, for me is torture. I know a lot of people don't mind, uh, but for me, like, oh, I hate it. I just bought a 144 hertz monitor. Like, uh, I am, I am such a hipster right now for frame rates. Like, I can say, hmm, <laughs> 70 frames is not as fluid as 90 frames. <laughs> <It's> like <laughs> you're with the, the 140 hertz monitor, so you feel it a lot more. Yes, yes, I feel a lot because <laughs> the game right now it's running on 700 frames here on the menu. So whenever I do this, like I do, whoa, the wobbly menu, it feels so good, it's so smooth and awesome. And when the game is running at 20 frames, oh, it's torture. It looks like a slideshow. Ah, <laughs> uh, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, Mark, Mark has all his goals for the future, so my only goal is like to get better at the game. <laughs> my job right now literally is to play the game sometimes, and I'm not good at it. So. No, you, you did fine today. We beat the game every time. We beat it on hard, we beat it on epic, on both game modes. Like, that, that was actually easy. You, you saved my, my butt left twice. <laughs> twice. <laughs> twice. <laughs> But uh, cool guys, so I think that's it for this stream. Uh, thank you a lot for coming, thank you a lot for supporting the game and for being here in the community. There's a lot of awesome things coming up, not only inside the game and updates, things like that, but also outside, increasing the team, doing cool stuff, uh, doing partnerships with streamers. Also, if you guys know a streamer that you like, that uh, you, you want to see streaming Rally Countries in the future, Send them my way, tell them to, to come talk to me, uh, or tell me who they, they are so I can reach out to them, or Saleh. Because we are starting to build our partnership with streamers and uh, YouTubers, but mostly uh, people who stream everywhere. Uh, the idea is to start do the same thing that we do with founders, we do with Twitch streamers. So you guys get to uh, tell, give us feedback, so streamers as well, we want to build this game for streaming. Uh, so we want to know what can we make what can we do to make the game better to be streamed what can we do to make the game better to be watched uh what features we can do to interaction between streamers and viewers so we want to make sure that we do uh these things right as well so if you know streamers please uh send them our way or tell us so we can reach out to them uh and throughout the year we do this partnership so as usual uh we are on twitter at you. Facebook, facebook.com slash Rally Countries Universe. Uh, join us at Discord. Discord is awesome. Everybody there is awesome. So we, we are a verified server. So it's discord.gg slash Rally Countries. And we're going to figure out how to do a poll now, right, Sully? Uh, probably it's trouble. And um, know what we're going to do next. It's probably going to be progression. But... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
thanks guys for coming. Uh, so you want to say some parting words? Oh, I'm, I said it um, earlier, but yeah, like I'm really hoping that progression wins because I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're probably going to. <laughs> but we do the poll anyway to, to go through the proceedings. Okay. <laughs> I'll make awesome. a totally fair and not in this show's <laughs> awesome okay guys I think that's it thanks everybody for coming thank you Sele and uh, I see you guys Sele will see you guys next week but, uh, we'll talk more <laughs> at this quarter thank you Mark see you guys bye bye <laughs>